Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yolanda here for all the newbies. And welcome back to the ones that are returning. And I just wanted to do a two week wait video because some this may help some of you ladies. Let's get right into it. My first sim, I wrote them down. So my first symptom, I had like a really bad taste in my mouth. It was so bad, like I could brush my teeth and I would still have that nasty taste, like hungry, I don't know, they say metallic, I don't know. It's just a weird taste in my mouth, y'all. Like it was not great. And you know, some days I still do get that. Dreams, oh my gosh. I am not a dreamer. I do not dream at night. And during my two week wait, y'all, I was dreaming like every night. But I was when I wake up in the mornings, I would I could never remember my dream, but I know I had a dream. So dreaming, that sounds weird, but I was dreaming. Y'all smelling, oh my gosh. Uh a backstory. Um my son plays soccer, so we travel and um, we went we went out of town this um, game. Uh, one of the soccer moms and I we were just standing, just watching the game. So I said to her, "Do you smell pee? I smell pee." And she was like, "No, are you pregnant?" I was like, "I don't think so. I don't know." But no, she's like, oh, well, you must be pregnant. And I was like, I don't know, but I do smell pee. She's like, well, I hope it's not me. So I'm like, I don't know. So the next one was, um, okay, and that was smell. Crying, oh my gosh, y'all. I would cry for no reason at all, like, it was so crazy like one of my daughters told me that someone said something about me and I went to the bathroom well both of my daughters told me someone said something about me and I went to the bathroom and I started boohoo crying y'all like I was crying so bad I ended up jumping in the shower and I'm like why am I crying it's not even that serious why am I crying and you know what I didn't even think that that was probably a symptom, me crying, like, and then I would just get on YouTube and watch all this sad stuff and just start crying and read this. I was like, you gotta stop. You got to stop. So crying is one, ouch, urine, pee. I was going to the bathroom a lot, like, Every 20, 15, 20 minutes, I was going, getting up, going to the bathroom. I was like, this is so weird. Why am I going to the bathroom all the time? Ouch. Why am I going to the bathroom so regular? Another one is eating and not getting full. Y'all, we had just went out to eat. And, like, as soon as we got back in, got in the car to go home, I would say to my husband, I'm hungry. He's like, again? And that was a sign. So I wrote that down. Another one, nauseous. Y'all, I like for a whole week straight, y'all, I was just so nauseous. Like, I was so nauseous. I wasn't throwing up, but I was just so nauseous till it was like bad. <sighs> and then, um, sleeping. I was so tight. I would take a nap every single day. And to this day, I'm still taking a nap. Like I'm sleeping long, longer now. Um, and I'm going to bed extra early. Like I go to bed at like seven o'clock, eight o'clock. And I wake up and my husband is on the, on the phone playing his video game. I'm like, you need to go to sleep. He's like, woman, it's only nine o'clock. <laughs> so. I would go to, and I still go to bed early too, so, yeah. So, headache. Oh my gosh. I had gotten this one headache one day, and it hit me so hard, and I woke up with that same headache, but it ended up going away later on. 
before the afternoon came, it ended up going away. So I did get a headache and I thought it was probably the um, change of weather, but it probably was a symptom that I was ignoring. Lazy, oh my gosh. I was so lazy to the point, y'all, I wasn't cleaning up. I would pick up, you know? I wasn't like scrubbing things down or, you know, doing my normal cleaning. I was actually just picking things up and just not doing nothing. I did this for like, I didn't do nothing for like a week. It was really bad. And keep in mind, I stayed home, so there's no excuse for the house to be dirty. But, okay, sore nipples, y'all. TMI, but um, I thought it was from me and my husband baby dancing and you know how, you know what the guys do, you know, with the boobs or whatever. So I thought that that's what the problem was that he had did the night before and come to find out like it was like my nipples were sore for like a week. So that made me think you could be pregnant or your cycle is about to come on. But normally when my cycle comes on, like around here is sore, not the nipples. I don't remember the nipples being sore. Okay, and cramping. <sighs> Y'all, I it's like my size would switch. You cramp first, you go cramp. Okay, you cramp. Like it was just switching sides with cramping. So I was feeling a lot of cramping. Um, and I also had a lot of back pain, which I thought was my cycle. And that wasn't the case. Like, I would even feel like, you know, my cycle was coming on and that wasn't the case. Oh, another thing, flu-like. Um, I was getting sick. Like, my throat was hurting. My ear was hurting. Like, I'm like... Am I getting sick again? I just got sick. Normally I get a cold once a year and that's like in August. And lately I have been getting sick. Like in some of my videos, you can tell that I was sick a little bit. So, yeah. And far as attitude, oh my gosh. Whew. I have to pump my brakes when I get an attitude, y'all. I'm a good person, but I feel like when it's that time of month, you you can't you can control it if you think about it. Like I think about it because I always hear people say, I'm PMS and don't mess with me and I don't want to be that. So I always pump my brakes and just like, mm mm. Pull yourself together, girl. Stop. You are better than that. But you are human. My basal body temperature. This is what led me to do my pregnancy test that day because I was always charting and keeping it keeping up with my ovulation and my basal body temperature I was doing that every single day and all of a sudden y'all it went up like as soon as my body temperature went up I jumped up that morning and I went and got me a pregnancy test and I took that pregnancy test and there it was I was pregnant so Check your basal body temperature and if it's going up, like after your cycle or ovulation, you could be pregnant. So I hope this video helps some of you ladies that are in your two week wait. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Baby dust to you, sticky dust to me, and I wish you all the best. If there's a will, there's a way. Don't let no one tell you that you can't or it won't happen. Do nothing but baby dust. and. Disclaimer, um, just because my these are my symptoms, it may not be yours. Everybody is different. And I love you. So, I love you beautiful ladies so much. And baby dust, sticky dust to all of you. <sighs> Bye ladies. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.